you know when you choose a partner you don't only get their body you get you get their mind your life is mingled with theirs you get involved with them they live a certain lifestyle that affects your lifestyle and many people have allow people to just come into their life um, and they may look good, they may have some possessions, they may have some things about them that you really like personality wise, but as it pertains to their mindset, how they do life, what they do with their time, that affects you. So many people are continually exposing themselves to the same similar people. Maybe a, diff a different face, a different name, but pretty much the same person. And they keep going to the same places, keep going to the same kind of people, but with a different name. All right? And these people are wasting their time, Frank. You're wasting your time for a lot of people when when you could be going to be really switching your horizons. I know I like, I like to say quality people go to quality locations. Quality people do quality things. I like what the Bible says in Deuteronomy 7, verse 3 to 4. Ne neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they may, no, for they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled again to and destroy thee suddenly, right? So there's people who are serving gods, gods of entertainment, gods of partying, gods of smokes, um, gods of smoking, gods of self indulgence gods of sports, right? In, in this day and age, you know, and you are mingled these people. So their lifestyle, you're going to merge, go into their lifestyle, right? Their attitude. You can sit into set up people with toxic traits and toxic character, toxic mindsets, and you're not altering your venues. You're not altering the standard of person that you're choosing. You know, a lot of people they're exposed to the same kinds of people, but they refuse to change their venues. And that's one of the worst things that, could, that person can do, whether it's a man pursuing a woman or a woman pursuing a man. Somebody that's, that's taking you away from serving the Most High God. Someone that's taking you away from your, your, your primary purpose. Somebody that's taking you away from what you were called to do. So a lot of people compromise and settle for somebody because of a car, because of some looks, for some great some sex, you know, right? And, and God got someone for you that has the full package, the full package. They, they got this, this physical compatibility, this emotional compatibility, this financial compatibility, but you're just so used to what you're used to and you refuse to stop mingling with those people. God told the Israelites, don't go to those people. I don't care how good they look, what they got, they're going to take you away from me. And when someone takes you away from God, they take you away from God's best. Your purpose is on the line here. Your peace of mind is on the line here. Don't mingle with them. Alter, alter it. If you gotta change your number, block your number. If you gotta listen, unfollow some people. You know, if you gotta stop opening, stop answering your, your door to whoever, stop answering certain phone calls, stop going to certain places. You gotta find a way to limit interactions with certain people as much as you can. So that, so like, and 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 find out where the high quality people are at. Come on and go to them, find them, switch it up, or you're going to um, waste, continue to waste a lot of your time on somebody who's not truly suitable for you. All right? So that's it. God bless you. I love you. In Jesus' name.